In this model, I'd like to show you how to review the results. Uh, we can see this is a complex model with lots of plates and members. I'm going to solve this model, clicking on the Solve button. I'm going to choose the batch with the envelope solution, and it's going to run through all of the different load combinations we've created, and it's going to load those, and we'll see results based on a, both a batch, which will be individual solution, or we can see an envelope, which is going to be the worst case for every member. It's going to display us for us the worst case here. So it's going to solve that, and we'll go straight to the results here. We'll see that there's a design results tab. Results tab. And we can open that up. And in the Design Results tab, we see a variety of all of our members. Whenever we have a failed member, we see here that there's a color coding here. So the number turns red under Code Check every time it's above 1. We also can see that here we have it kind of sprinkled throughout our model. So what we can do is sort this. I'm going to sort this entire column by clicking on the top Code Check, then right-clicking and saying Sort and then say sort maximum to minimum. That will allow us to just see the ones that are failing at the top here. So we have about 13 members that are failing. Let's take a look at that graphically on our screen before we move forward. So if we go ahead on the color coding tab here, we can change this to see the unity bending check on the screen based on the color code. So whenever we have members that are failing, they're showing us numbers that are above 1. Uh, so they're looking red here on our screen. So we have a variety of different members that we saw, those 13 members. But it can be hard to select just those members. What I'd like to do is just look at only those members. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and say, unselect the entire model using this unselect button. Go back to de my design results. And the fact that we've got here the design results all selected at the very top of our screen, what we can do is highlight just those. So we select just those codes that checks that are above 1. And using the icon at the top of the screen says here, select all marked lines in the current view. So I'm going to select only these members in my current view. I'm going to close that, and now I can see graphically on my screen that these are the ones that are going to be the failed members. At that point, I can go ahead and change the design for just these members. Uh, the program Reset 3D will give you suggested design based on the section set or the shape that you're using, so you can collect that information and size members up or down depending on which way they need to be going. Uh, you can also take a look at the entire deflected shape. So if I select everything back on my model and maybe go back to a wireframe, I can click on the top here. There's a deflected shape here, so it can show me exactly how the model looks to be deflecting, and it can go from there for deflections as well.